Hello. Okay. Um, looky here. Dozer is gone and Arthur is in. Now it is time to start on the back brakes. I could use an impact, but why go at it the easy way when there's a hard way? Mm, I'm gonna have to. What we gonna have to do is take this entire hub assembly apart to get to the brakes. I don't know why they had to build it this way, but they had some sort of a reason. I gotta clean all this up first. Um, okay. Take out those six bolts and this whole thing starts to come out. And in there, there's a great big old nut. <laughs> I almost got this thing out. Almost like I knew what I was doing. Oh boy. Okay. I've been honing the brakes out. Hold on. Brake cylinder. You can see it's probably. Yeah, you can't see it very well, but it is getting better. And right now it is currently dark. We do have rain chances. My dad's been working on this radiator for us, International 656. It was leaking and put some vinegar, yeah, vinegar, filled it up to the top so we could, vinegar's an acid. It will eat away any gunk that's in there that will determine any more leaks anywhere. Went to town and got a bunch of stuff, got some metal brake lines. 20 inch and a 40 inch and I do need a rubber brake line but he didn't have it Napa didn't have it up there and uh, so he had to order that out of Omaha so that'll be here sometime next week but until then I can just keep doing what I'm doing so I guess I'm gonna keep holding on this I'll probably, yo, I don't even know. I'm gonna just keep going. got this to a stopping point for tonight it's past 10 o'clock and I'm tired I'm gonna go take a shower now I will see y'all in a, a second I still got some tea left here's to you
these are left-handed threads. So you turn them the wrong way to loosen them. Well, righty tighty, lefty loosey is the opposite with left-handed threads. And that's what these older vehicles have on the driver's side is left-handed threads. on as you can see this is the driver's side now and as you can see that's got a bunch of mess in it and it's not shiny at all well i've been working it's dark smoky's up here i got all parts lined out this is just such a nice old classical truck that's what it is old and classical you see that other side should look like this side see and I'm going to Napa tomorrow and um, getting some parts so I can actually finish this a rubber brake hose that goes from the the steel line that comes from the gosh I'm tired a rubber brake hose that's what I need in order to finish all this because I have to run fresh fluid through everything. That's better. Uh, good night, see you in the morning, and which would be about now. Once again, it is dark outside and me and Smokey are burning the midnight oil. I've got this side honed pretty good, but there's still a little bit of stuff in there, that, some pitting, and the metal brake line that goes from about right, right here, I think, yeah, right, right there, and it goes around and into that block right there. You can't tell because it won't focus. There you go, that thing. Yeah, that needs to be replaced. And the rubber line that goes from right here and on over somewhere up in there. I don't know. I got to go to town in the morning and get that. But I got to keep honing. Just got back from town, new upper hose. Now we can get to work. Okay, all we need now is a little piece of metal that will go from here to here. This is the emergency brake. See this down? This right here. This goes forward and a piece of metal will push on this brake pad and that will be the emergency brake. But we're going to have to make it and it's being made right now. Come look at the other side. Oh gosh, shop is dirty. Alright, I just got this side put back together. Same story on this side. Need a piece of metal that goes from here to here. Same story, same thing. Be so happy when it's over.
Right at dawn. Well, ladies and gentlemen, cross this. That's pretty smooth. Now, um, watch this. I would say that they work. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for sticking around. Next, um, I guess is the electrical brake light, headlights, and uh, paint. And this truck's done. Oh, and seat recovering. And hook up the gas gauge and get that working. Then I'm done. Thanks for sticking around.